We're back. Here's your five play challenge. Play number one. Trail official stops play and rules a backcourt violation. What do you think? Was it a backcourt violation or was it legal? He is holding the ball with one foot in the backcourt. This means the ball is also in the backcourt. The airborne ball retains backcourt status. The correct ruling on this play was legal, no violation. Next is play number two. Another backcourt violation is called. Was the official correct or was this legal? He moves from backcourt status to frontcourt status. The location of an airborne player is from where they were last in contact with the floor. And the ball? From where it last was. This play was correctly ruled as a backcourt violation. Play number three. No whistle on this play. Looks a lot like the last play, and that was a violation. The ball is considered in the front court and passed to a teammate with one foot in the front court and the other in the air. This puts him completely in the front court. Great job by the officials here. This was a legal play. Play number four is up. 
quickly, of course, this could be a shot. Will from far out. No. Karam Long taken down by uh, Barrington. They do get it. Back across the time. I was touched by a Larkin lad. Kind of a sloppy play. And no whistle from the officials. Did they miss it? Quickly, of course, this could be a shot. Will from far out. No. Karam Long taken down by... Uh, Barrington, they do get it. Back across the time, I was touched by a Larkin lad. It sure looks like a backcourt violation, doesn't it? On a try for a goal, there is no player or team control. And a tip of the ball is not control. Another bat at the ball, but still nothing. There is no control this entire sequence until caught in the backcourt. This play looked odd, but was properly ruled as legal. Let's end it with play number five. A backcourt violation is called. Yes or no? Looks like the coach says the ball was tipped. Did you see it? The defender clearly deflects the ball into the backcourt. The coach was right. This play was not a backcourt violation. Thanks for taking the five play challenge. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and share with someone or two or more. And please don't forget to subscribe. This is the Officials Institute.